G'day and welcome to a first look at this, the new Toyota GR Corolla. Now, we won't drive it for a few months and there are a few details we don't know, such as pricing and exact specification, but we're here at Toyota HQ to have a walk around and show you a few details about Toyota's new hot hatch. Toyota GR Corolla is the bigger brother of the GR Yaris Pocket Rocket. It takes that car's turbocharged all-wheel drive powertrain and installs it in a larger, more practical five-door body. But there are a few key differences. So under the bonnet, we've got the same 1.6-litre three-cylinder turbocharged engine as in the GA Yaris. But here, it produces 220 kilowatts, an extra 20 kilowatts, but the same 370 newton metres, unless you go for the Maurizio edition, which gives you 400 newton metres. Six-speed manual is standard in all variants, but again, get the Maurizio edition and the gears are closer together for better acceleration. The all-wheel drive system is carried over from the GR Yaris. It has three modes which vary how much power goes to the front or rear wheels. Default is 60% front, 40% rear. Sport is 30-70 and track is 50-50. Externally, we've got flared guards to cover the wider track lightweight body panels, though no carbon roof like the GR Yaris. We've got 18 inch alloys, big brakes, 356 millimeter discs with four piston calipers here at the front. And this car is sitting on Yokohama semi-slicks, but I suspect they may be limited to the Maurizio edition. The penalty you pay for the larger body is in weight. The GR Corolla weighing almost 200 kilos more than the Yaris. Toyota claims the GR Corolla can hit 60 miles an hour in 4.99 seconds, so we'd expect it to be a couple of tenths slower than the Yaris to 100 k's an hour. So the first thing to notice with the interior here is that the driving position is much lower than in the GA Yaris and these seats are super comfy. Still got a manual handbrake and drive mode selected down here and there's quite a lot of kit in here. We've got heated seats and steering wheel, dual zone climate control, Toyota's latest 8 inch infotainment touchscreen, head up display, full width digital instruments and being a 5 door means it's much more practical than its Yaris little brother. Though remember, select that Maurizio edition and you bin the back seats. Obviously the big unknown is the price. Will it be closer to the likes of the Hyundai i30N and Volkswagen Golf GTI or fight further up market against the Honda Civic Type R and Volkswagen Golf R? We'll find out soon enough. This is a really exciting car, but just how exciting won't become clear until we know two things, the price and just what it's like to drive. We'll discover both these things at the car's launch early in 2023, so stay tuned for our full review. But until then, hope you've enjoyed this quick first look at the GR Corolla and let us know your thoughts on Toyota's new hot hatch.